toilet pep talks, Jerry gives pep talks to Bruce. So my dad was a very excited man. He got really excited about different things. And he always was telling me how to do sports. And he was always telling me how to stand in a football stance and how to fire out and hit somebody and make a tackle and, and how to, you know, rip through the line and, and, and create, you know, defensive tackles or offensive blocks. My dad loved football. He played for, um, I think he played at Lewis Junior High, I'm not really sure, but they didn't have much. They had the leather helmets, no face masks, et cetera, et cetera. Um, he played for Ogden High, uh, and I believe he played his entire, his entire, um, <clears throat> his entire three years at Ogden High School football every year, the way I understand it, but he says only the rich kids got to play. He played all this time he got to play, it was either one, two, or three plays for Ogden High School. The coach was anti-poor boys that lived down by the railroad tracks. My dad lived down on 30, 30th and Wall. They would always choose the boys above Harrison, High, Harrison Boulevard, the rich boys, they got to play. He worked his guts out and got to play one, one or two or three uh, plays. At Weber State College, <coughs> he played, he started at Weber State College and he also played for the Army. <coughs> but, but when I'd come home from my football games or wrestling matches, but football games in particular, he would be sitting on the toilet in his room, uh, in, on the toilet, reading a newspaper, reading the Ogden Standard Examiner, you know, sitting there on, on the toilet in his garments, going to the bathroom. And he would say, Bruce, come on in here. I need to talk to you about the game tonight. And I'd have to sit down on his bed, face him for 15 minutes, a half an hour or an hour, while he continued to give me a pep talk off the toilet. I remember that as being, a, he was very caring and wanted to encourage me to, he was very encouraging that way. With athletics, he was really encouraging. Uh, in general, he was a motivational person. He tried to encourage you to, to accomplish whatever you could accomplish. He tried to encourage that. He wanted you to accomplish what he wanted to accomplish, which, which, which he, because he, did, he couldn't play at Ogden High School, he only got to play one or two or three plays at Ogden High School, uh, he felt... Uh, maybe uh, not, I don't know how they say it exactly, whether it's prejudice or, he, he wasn't looked up on uh, with the same amount of, of respect as the boys that were rich above uh, the Ogden uh, Harrison, Harrison Boulevard. So uh, because he was a poor boy, didn't have very, he didn't have very much, um, they didn't give him the benefit of the doubt very often, but he usually kicked everybody's butt. Uh, you know, but in, in football, he said one time there was a guy, when he was playing for the Army down in California, he said there was a guy that came across and just hit him really, really hard, slugged him or hit him or did something. And my dad says, okay, man, that was your last, that was your last play, you know. So anyway, he watches, this, he watches this guy in the next play, he comes running around the end, and my dad just went wham, hit him with a, hit him with a, a forearm right in the face and just knocked him out, put him out of the game. But anyway, that was my dad for you. So, but he was very encouraging. Every time after a sporting event, he'd go over what you could do better, how you could improve, and he encouraged you. He was very encouraging. I'm very encouraging like that with, typically with my kids, my grandkids, whatever they want to do, I want to encourage them to be successful. A lot of times, like my dad, I want them to be successful and, and help them achieve the things that I know about. But toilet pep talks, wow. That was an interesting, uh, now that I think back to it, that was an interesting way to get a pep talk.